Let's take a look at our last viewing mode, which is walk mode. There's two ways you can enter walk mode. You can either click the icon, which will jump you into one of the 360 images, or you can navigate through the waypoints on the floor plan and open one of the hollow builder images that were captured um, and placed on the floor plan. So I'm gonna grab one from over here to open our walk mode and jumped into this particular location. So the first thing you'll notice for navigation purposes, there is a mini map on the lower right hand side. And you can see as I hover over that mini map, it expands. In order to be able to move around it, I can just use my left mouse button to pen. And if I want to zoom into an area to get a closer look, I can just use my scroll mouse for that. If I want to see that in a larger view, I can just simply enter full screen mode. It lets me see a little bit more, a little bit uh, more detail. And if I want to exit that, just hit leave full screen. And if you don't want to see this at all, you can just simply collapse this and it will sit uh, hidden in the corner. So you can move around um, using the mini map. And as you move around from waypoint to waypoint, it jumps you into the different images that were captured. And to move around inside the 360 image, just simply use your mouse button and you can pan right and left, up and down. And if there is something that you want to look at in a little bit more detail, just use your wheel button to zoom in. Let's jump over to the corner here. Up on the top, you'll see that we have our, our viewing tab. Right now you can see that the 360 is highlighted in blue. That's to show we're in that 360 mode. If you do have a point cloud and a model uploaded, you can view that by simply toggling to that particular view. So now we're looking at the same waypoint, but we're looking at it in the point cloud mode. So we're looking at the scan data and you can see we have that little pie slice that's rotating that lets me orient myself um, against the floor plan. In addition, if you do have a model uploaded, simply go into your 3D model view and now we can view it from the same aspect. And if we want to overlay, we just simply go into our overlay point cloud and 3D model and you can see both the cloud and the model to run that comparison. And the 3D controls are the same once you're in here as they were with the 3D mode. We can change the opacity of the model or the point cloud just to give us a better view.